<laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Maisha and I'm beauty director at Sephora. Hey everyone, I'm David, also a beauty director at Sephora. And in this video, we have a great topic for you, something we hear a lot about <laughs> mm -hmm. in the comments, right? Mm -hmm. Makeup brushes. We're calling this sort of makeup brushes 101 or must some haves. of the must haves. Yeah, must haves. Must haves. Types of brushes that we think are essential in mm -hmm. creating a perfect makeup application. Or versatile or go-tos for us, things we have been using for years. Mm -hmm. um, and also some new stuff too, some things that we really think that would elevate your makeup game. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think that it comes down to any artistry, it comes down to using the right tools. So knowing how to use these brushes mm -hmm. is key and why we use them. So the first one that I really like, I like it personally and also like to use it on other people. So this is the Pro Diffuser number 64 from Sephora collection. I really love this because, you know, a lot of times when people are talking about their foundation, they're like, oh, I need more coverage, I need a new foundation. And going to buy a new foundation is great and having a wardrobe of foundations is nice, but sometimes you could just get your foundation to do different things. Like, I'm currently Very wearing true. the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I've been wearing it, I mean, it's been out for like years. 13 years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I just started wearing it again recently, and it's medium coverage, so I love that medium coverage, you know, when I'm out and about, but on camera, I want a little bit more. more. So. I will buff this on all over, and then the areas where I need more coverage, I'll bounce it onto bounce, my skin. Yeah. And because it's really dense and sort of tightly packed, it almost acts as a sponge. Mm -hmm. And you can get this incredible coverage just by using the brush differently. So buffing, really sort of you know natural spreads finish, it. spreads it out. Mm -hmm. But when you really wanna pack it on, you just kind of use it. And naturally, you sort of like move closer to the ferrule and just kind of go down mm -hmm. and press it onto your skin. So even as I demonstrate it, I'm, my hand is kind of slowly moving towards mm -hmm. the end of the brush. So have you ever seen somebody with a giant brush and they go and they do this to the brush to sort of make it the way they want it to? I feel like it's sort of like, your brain is subconsciously telling you that you need a different brush for yeah. what you're doing. So what a this brush, it's brush. denser yeah. and it can do more just by using it in a little bit more of a heavy handed, more mm -hmm. uh, meticulous motion. So if you ever see anybody doing this, to their brush. <laughs> they probably so they need can contour, a different brush. They probably need a brush that's dense like <laughs> this one. Uh, so pay attention if you're struggling through your makeup application and turning your brush all kinds of weird ways and, and things are happening that aren't meant to yeah. happen, you probably <laughs> just need a different style brush or something more versatile. I agree. And that's mm -hmm. a great that's a great brush there. So for me, the first brush I'm going to be talking about is actually a new launch of brushes mm -hmm. from Sephora Collection. This is the Makeup Match Collection. And this is the highlighter brush from mm -hmm. that. So the purpose of this collection was sort of to match yeah. your brush to your category of makeup you're using mm -hmm. to make it a little bit yeah. easier for first time users to understand which brush goes with which product. Now the reason I chose the highlighter brush is because for me an essential brush in my kit is some sort of a powder brush that is tapered, narrow, and small. Like medium shade, yes. small, yeah. Yes, a, a detailed mm -hmm. sort of brush. And the reason for this I think is extremely important is because we tend to think of powder brushes as big brushes brushes to dust over the whole face, which is great for time consuming purposes, yeah. I mean, uh, time saving purposes. But this is essential for strategic powder placement, which to me is the most important yeah. aspect of makeup. Especially if you're someone that says they don't like powder. A lot yes. of times if you're more mature or you have yes. drier skin, they say, oh, I don't like powder. No, you probably just don't like powder all over your face. Right. So using a brush like that is going to make it so it goes in the areas where you need it and not maybe on your jaw or your forehead where you're really dry. Exactly. And so for me, the key elements are under the eye, sides of the nose, chin, and forehead. That's the most important area to powder. So a brush like this is essential in my kit to make sure that I can powder those areas without getting products everywhere. Mm -hmm. And also, I love stuff like this for a quick contour. It a fits blush. right into the hollow. I use a for blush, my blush on the mm -hmm. sideways. You know, if you're just dusting something over the lid, it's a very multi-using style brush in this sort of mid-sized mm -hmm. area. Like, I cannot go without at least three or four of this I know, style I know. in my kit. Our brush belts are insane. <laughs> a lot of brushes got, totally. Uh, our next one right here is a concealer brush. This is the Sephora Collection Makeup Match Concealer brush, same concept of matching your, your tool and your product together to get this sort of ultimate coverage and finish. So this guy right here is actually sort of like a, it's a synthetic fiber, but it's sort of made to mimic a natural mm -hmm, fiber. Mm -hmm. um, a lot yes. of times you'll see us use uh, really large eyeshadow brushes for concealer and people
people are just like, what is happening yeah. here? What's going on? And the reason why we use these like fluffy sort of uh, natural fiber mimicking brushes is because they sort of take a lot of the liquid out of the concealer. Yes. I know that sounds weird, but when you're laying down concealer and you're like, okay, I covered this dark circle, but I just have this big wet mess under my eye. You're just like, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I have to put so much powder on and then you create cakiness and it's just this big issue. So when you use a brush like this, it's sort of like fluffy and dense and could be it used for an eyeshadow. It lays it down. It lays it down, but yeah. it also wicks away some of the excess moisture. So by the time you're done blending, you only need a little tiny bit of powder yeah. versus if you use sort of a very synthetic slippery brush, mm -hmm. it could work really well, but it's not going to take away some, of that, some of that moisture. So moisture. if you ever see us using an eyeshadow brush or something like this for concealer, that, that's probably how this was born. Yeah. We were all using eyeshadow brushes for concealer and they made a brush to sort of suit what we yeah. were already doing. Mm -hmm. I love the shape on this yeah. one too because it's got that little like it mimics the finger. Mm -hmm. So because like I tend to really like application of concealer in a finger way, mm -hmm. but sometimes the finger with the oils of your skin, like long nails. <laughs> yeah, or if you have long nails, exactly. <laughs> Maisha ain't doing this unless she's gonna blind herself. I know. <laughs> so it's nice to have that yeah. because it really does mimic the finger, which really blends out and applies that in a really nice way. Mm -hmm. You have all heard me talk oh. about this brush so much at this point. <laughs> this is the number 15 Sephora Collection Pro Shadow Brush. It's the Pro Small Shadow. This is my baby. Mm -hmm. I must have 15 of these brushes. And no joke. Too. It is, to me, hands down, the best eyeshadow brush. I can do an entire yeah. eye of any style. You want a soft blown out eye? I could do it with a 15. You want a slightly graphic eye? I can do it with a 15. Mm -hmm. So it's perfectly small enough to pack on eyeshadows, let's say on the lid, if you wanna get in the inner corner, if you wanna get underneath, and a lot of it has to do with the way you hold it. Holding it flat gives you a wide surface to lay product mm -hmm. down. Holding it sideways, as you can see, it's really narrow. One brush can do so much. That's why I have like 12 of them because mm -hmm. literally I'm like, I use them so much sometimes on set that I'm like, I don't have time to clean this mm -hmm. one, but I'll just get another one because I can use it for so many things. I can, my, you can feel the passion coming know, out of me for this brush. It is my baby. I think this is hands down, shape, size, bristles. They nailed it with this brush. Mm -hmm. Everyone should have this in their eyeshadow collection. Mm -hmm. Every person should have this. Next up is sort of like my number 15. This is the number 18. This is the Pro Shader Brush. So tiny, uh, so much pressure. It's literally just a small version yeah. of that brush, I would say. Uh, a lot of times brushes aren't so different. They're just on a different scale or maybe yeah. a different material they're made out of. I like to do a lot of sort of detail work and crazy eyeshadow. You guys see my eyeshadow all the time. I, I usually, you know. Get yeah. bored waiting and yeah. I put more makeup on and more makeup on. Uh, so I just really love, even though I have big eyes, I want my detail to be very precise. Mm -hmm. I want to lay a blue down exactly where I want to lay it down. And this just buffs everything yeah. in. We all have styles of makeup mm -hmm. that we do. Any eyeshadow tutorial you see that I do, especially on a model, I'm always doing a smudgy liner as a base to kind of, you know, set up the mood for whatever look I'm doing. This is the look best smudgy liner This is the brush. best smudgy liner brush you can use. Again, it's really good on lips. I use it on lips quite a bit. It's very small. I also really like to use this on my brows. Jeffrey always stares at me when I do my brows. He's like, why are you using that brush on your brows? But if it works, it works. It's literally the same width as my brow. So I use it this way, lay down flat to fill in my brow. And then I turn it sideways to do the tail of my mm -hmm. brow. And it quickly gets brow powder on my eye. And I could just go in with a little precision sure, pencil precision and just kind of fill everything else in. I feel like I, I definitely pout when I cannot have this for <laughs> it. They were reformulating it for a bit. And I was like, I can't use no, this brush in my face. Yeah. I can't do makeup. I don't understand how to do makeup <laughs> without this. It's just a perfect little smudger. If you like very intricate mm -hmm. looks, or maybe if you're just someone who's very minimal and doesn't want, you know, a large scale mm -hmm. brush, something very tight to the eye, this is just. It's and it's really so, great so for good. the under eye. That's yeah. where I tend to use like this a, a lot. Like a smoky liner situation. Smoky liner. Mm -hmm. And also a lot of people have a, a trouble putting something large mm -hmm. under their eye. If you see it, you tend to want to do this. This brush is so small, mm -hmm. it can almost go up underneath your line of vision so you're not seeing it mm -hmm. while you're applying it so you can really get that yeah. nice, crisp, beautiful shadow application. And I think for me, one of the things I love about this is in the inner corner. Yeah. I think for the highlight in the inner corner mm -hmm. of the eye, this brush, literally it's just a, you so, pat so it. So good. It like lays, Boom, that's it. Mm -hmm. Like you don't even have to do anything. You just it's the put size, it like it's the size of your tear duct. <laughs> it's like yeah. literally the size of your tear duct. It's like 
done, mm-hmm. go, move, you're, you're mm-hmm. good to go. <laughs> mm-hmm. Or if you, I feel like people don't really contour their nose as heavily anymore, but if you did want to get in and do little precision yeah. contouring, you could just, you could really do anything. It's with a great brushes. brush. One of my faves. Okay, so the final brush for me is also a detail brush. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit of an unconventional brush, and yeah. I chose it for two reasons. This is the Sephora Collection Pro Bent Liner Brush number 23. So this is an eyeliner brush that is bent, and this is my go-to mm-hmm. eyeliner brush. I personally don't really like to use liquid liner pens if I'm doing liners. If I want graphic, if I want a wing, if I want sharpness, I tend to use pot cream liners Mm -hmm. and I use this brush. Are you digging the cream liner? Did you see me (laughs) do it? Because I use the back end because it's small and I scoop a little bit of the product here because here's the thing. Those products a lot of times just a little bit on the hand, your body heat warms it up. And it keeps it liquid. It or makes cream, it more malleable. It doesn't dry out. And right. you're not dipping back in and out. Hygiene and out. purposes. Yeah. But I love putting it on the hand. And then with this brush, you can really kind of like pick the product up. And so I chose this for two reasons. One, for me, it's an essential because you have to do a liner at some point. Yeah. And you want it to be nice and crisp and smooth a lot of times or really fine and detailed. This point is so fine. When yeah. that product goes on there, it is like needle thin you yeah. can get it. It also has memory to it. So when you wash it, you know, you want to coax it in the right shape as you're washing it and not just like ruffle it on the back of your hand. But when it dries, it's still going to have that really nice yes. shape for you. And here's the other thing that I love about it. So what I, and the reason I chose this, because we hear a lot in the comment section from everyone talking about how they may struggle with liner. So if you find that the liquid liner, you're like, I tried this one, I tried this one, I'm struggling with it, it must be a technique. It might not be the technique that you have to struggle with. It might be the tool and the product you're using. Maybe try a cream liner and a liner brush. So when you are applying on yourself or as a professional makeup artist with this, the bent aspect of this gives you a lot of options. Mm-hmm. One, you can hold it like this, and because it's bent, you don't have to have your hand up. So you can rest your elbow for that stability on something and get that really nice, smooth movement. But because of that bend, you can twist this, and it almost creates a glide. Like, you can sweep this brush. So it really gives you a lot of Mm -hmm. options when it comes to laying down, Mm -hmm. where you're laying down, how thick you want it to, and it makes the process of applying a liner a lot Mm -hmm. easier. We we work together so much. I've seen you use that brush. All the time. 15,000 times. times. And I feel like we all... (laughs) We we just know each other so well. Yeah, we totally do. <laughs> so I could we could have picked each other's favorite brushes. brushes yes, like sight unseen. We wanted to be able to answer some of the things that we go to in our video. So hopefully this was really helpful to you. <laughs> Let us know in the comment section below if you use yeah, any of these. If you love fave? them, what your fave? <laughs> what 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 tools you love? Mm-hmm. Which brushes you love from the Sephora collection? Because. Those brushes are so incredible. Mm -hmm. They're so good. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can get new videos from us every single week. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.